Both the House and Senate last night passed federal budgets remarkably similar to each other and to what President Obama wanted out of them. But in a crushing blow to Democrats, opposition to the budget was bipartisan, at least in our fourth story tonight, according to Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. McConnell, in a statement last night, complained that congressional Democrats passed their budget, quote, over bipartisan opposition. McConnell is right. In both houses, members of both parties voted against the Democratic budget. Two Democrats in the Senate and 20 Democrats in the House. But the House did not just consider the Democratic budget. They also considered an alternative GOP budget plan introduced by Republican Representative Paul Ryan. As Politico points out, while 20 Democrats, 8% of them, voted against the Democratic budget, 38 Republicans, 20% of them, voted against the Republican budget, making opposition to the Republican budget more than twice as bipartisan-like. McConnell's point, of course, is that Democrats are split on their own budget. But as the New York Times reports today, budget votes are historically close. And this was the first time since the Clinton administration that a budget passed the House with more than 230 votes. McConnell's remark then sets the stage for coming battles over how to implement the policy commitments made in these budget resolutions, especially over issues like health care reform and global warming measures, such as taxing polluters for their pollution. pollution. With us tonight is Chris Saliza, White House reporter for The Washington Post and author of The Fix blog at WashingtonPost.com. And good evening, Chris. Good evening, David. Chris, flesh out for us what McConnell's trying to do by painting opposition to one of the most popular budgets in years as bipartisan. Well, uh, David, remember that uh, Mitch McConnell is a very smart politician. He looks at polls and he knows that President Obama is quite popular. Uh, he also knows, so therefore, attacking President Obama is not necessarily the best thing to do. What is he going to do instead? Attack that post-partisan message of Barack Obama. Try and present Barack Obama as uh, someone who's just riding roughshod over, over not just the minority party, but also some within his party. This is very much a strategic uh, gambit based on the fact that uh, McConnell, as well as many other Republicans, know that attacking somebody whose approval ratings are in the 60s and above isn't necessarily great, but attacking the underpinnings, that post-partisanship, the themes of the Obama administration might pay long-term dividends. If we can turn the tables for a minute, why was there such massive bipartisan in opposition to the Republican budget offered by Congressman Paul Ryan. I mean, after all, this was the plan that featured Republicans in mass on Wednesday walking down the House steps to signal the plan's arrival this week. Well, you know, political calculation uh, always starts at home, David. <laughs> so each of these members, and I would say this for the 20 Democrats who voted against President Obama's uh, budget plan as well, they are looking at their own districts and they are trying to figure out whether this is the kind of thing they can sell in two years' time when they stand on the ballot. So for a lot of these Republican members, they might sit, well sit in districts that the president uh, carried, and they are a little bit worried that breaking with him on what he has called the fundamental blueprint for his agenda could redound... Uh, against them come 2010. So they are looking out for their own interests first, then the interests of the Republican Party. And then moving ahead, what do last night's votes then tell us about the battles ahead? Well, you know, the battles ahead, I think, are going to be a lot tougher. The truth of the matter is, as while the budget blueprint uh, passed relatively easily, uh, the real fights, as you mentioned, over health care, certainly uh, the spending on health care over the spending on uh, global clim climate change, those are going to be real crisis points within the Democratic Party. Uh, there are many more Democrats Democratic senators who have voiced uh, opposition or at least concern about the spending on those proposals. This was something to essentially say, okay, let's start the process. But this fall, we're going to see the real fight. And that's when Barack Obama's political power and ability to exert sway over his own caucus will come into play. Can he keep them in line on a big spending health care proposal that will come less than one year uh, before many of them will see the voters again? On the GOP side of the ledger, the entire Republican Party has now voted against the economic stimulus package package and the Obama budget. What are they supposed to tell voters in 2010 if voters think the economy is starting to turn around by then? It, it, there is no question, David, that when they voted unanimously on the House side and three Republicans breaking ranks in the Repub uh, on the Senate side, that it was a big political risk. Now, I would say that some uh, Republicans were probably a little bit nervous uh, this past week in New York's 20th district, a special election. The Republican candidate ran on his opposition to the economic stimulus plan. The Democrat ran on his support for the economic stimulus plan. We wound up basically with a tie. We don't know who won yet. But if the Democrat winds up winning, there will be some Republican members of the House, certainly, who say, maybe I should have thought about uh, voting for that plan. Chris Elizabeth of the Washington Post. And Chris, thanks as always. We appreciate it. Thank you, David.